2024 is here and you don't know where you should invest. Should it be an international portfolio? Should it be comprised of the biggest Australian companies? Or maybe it's a mixture of Australian companies and real estate within Australia. Or you wanna be a little bit spicy and you wanna invest in all of the above. Well, there is one investment option out there that allows you to do all the above or individual items on this list, which are called ETFs, which are exchange traded funds. And now before you worry about it, is my money safe with these? As long as you're using chest insured brokers, you are insured up to $250,000 under the government's investment insurance scheme. Today, we're gonna to be going over seven different ETFs. So strap in and get ready. And before we get started, just know that all these ETFs are gonna be showing historic returns from the previous five years on a $10,000 initial investment with zero reoccurring investments. And the first ETF we're gonna be talking about is Vanguard's Diverse High Growth Index ETF, coming in with a 62.25% return. And the second ETF today we're gonna to be talking about is Vanguard's Australian Shares Index ETF, coming in with a 63.04% return over a five year period. The third ETF we're gonna be talking about today is Vanguard's International Shares Index ETF, VGS, coming in with an 89.7% return over five years. And the fourth ETF we're gonna be talking about today is iShares S&P 500 ETF, IVV, coming in with 106.91% return over five years. The fifth one we're gonna be talking about today is iShares 100 Global ETF Fund, IOO, coming in with a five-year historical return of 107.08% return over five years. And the sixth ETF we're gonna be talking about today is Vanguard's US Total Market Shares Index ETF, coming in with a five-year return of 108.7%. Last but not least is gonna be BetaShares NASDAQ 100 ETF, coming in with 170.33% return over five years. So there you have it, based off a five-year historical return, NDQ is gonna be your best ETF going into 2024. It's that simple. It's that easy. Gotcha, bitch. If you don't believe me, you'd be right. Why? It's all about context. Context, context, context when it comes to investing because it matters how do you react to a live market. So with that being said, let's dive a little bit deeper and I'm gonna take you back a few years. You've been investing since 2018. You've put $10,000 into one of these ETFs and you've held on to it for two years now. And before you go any further in this video, I'd like you to pause it and comment down below which ETF you would choose for your returns and then start the rest of this video. These have been your historic returns on these ETFs. Now, if you chose NDQ, you'd now be sitting at $16,054. Not too shabby for two years of investing in an ETF, but if you invested in the Vanguard's Diverse High Growth Fund, you would have only received a return of $12,742. Still pretty impressive for two years of investing though. Getting a return of $2,742 over two years, you can't complain. So everyone's sitting pretty happy. They've got pretty decent returns. They've only been investing for two years. So you think you've cracked the code. You think you're a professional investor. You've never had a negative year. You're killing the game. You're telling all your friends that you're making all this money. But just around the corner is March 31st. Good evening, Australia. Tonight, I want to talk to you about the global coronavirus. Coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. It has been confirmed that there are two cases now in England. Egypt's health ministry has announced a first confirmed case of COVID-19 in Africa. The latest Italian health report here says there have been 50, more than 50 new cases overnight. Now, you've got to remember, it's 2020. We don't know when it's going to end. We don't know what it is. Everyone's freaking out. Everyone's knee jerking. You're getting told every week to put a mask on, the very next week to take a mask off. No one knows what's going on. And what has happened to your portfolio to this time? It has nosedived. Day after day, week after week, your money has just kept tumbling and tumbling and tumbling. What are we going to do? If you were invested in IVV, you would be left with $9,132. You've lost nearly $900 out of your initial $10,000 from two years before. That's a $4,662 loss from your high. Now, even if you were invested in the least amount of movement in VGS, you still have lost $1,705, nearly two grand in the matter of a month. And this is where context comes into play. Volatility will always determine 
whether or not an investment strategy or an investment portfolio is right for you. How much volatility can you personally handle? But ultimately, due to the diverse structure of ETFs and the broad spectrum of investment options and spread of investments, ETFs are considered one of the most risk adverse investment options commonly in the investment world. With being proven that even though in a month period you can lose over $4,000 after a five year long term investment strategy, ETFs can give you upwards of double of your money back. Now, this isn't always a guarantee and previous history does not indicate future performance. But ultimately, with the way ETFs are structured, they are one of the most risk adverse investment options out there and are a perfect place for beginners to start their investing journey. And speaking of beginning your investment journey, if you would like to know where and how to invest in ETFs, please give this video a like, subscribe and stay tuned as I'm going to dive into what options are out there for beginning and intermediate investors on how to get involved into these ETFs and what are the best platforms to use to ensure that you're not paying ridiculous fees or management fees on behalf of other companies. And even if you're not a beginning investor and you do just enjoy financial content and you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please leave it a like